Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be painting a black pudding, but this time I think instead of just painting it straight black like you would because of black pudding, I'm going to see if I can't add a little more depth and definition to it maybe. I didn't do any kind of research beforehand, but I'm going to try something different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the Stormhost Silver. Now, what's really nice about the Stormhost Silver is if you paint it on first, if you have something thinner, like one of these technicals by Games Workshop, like a Spirit Stone Red, or the Waystone Green, or even the Soul Stone Blue, what's really cool is you get this neat look as if it's a jewel or a colored lens. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to use this Shyish, I'm sorry, Shyish Purple, this contrast paint on my black pudding. First of all, it's a little darker, and it's going to be purple, so it's going to have a hint of color. So instead of being just flat black, it's going to have some color to it. And because the way the contrast paints are, of course, they create a contrast between high and low areas. So I have a lot of paint running down to lower areas and leaving other areas thin. So I think on some of the high areas and some other uh, rigid areas, or I say rigid areas, but some of these ridges on the actual mini itself and some of these high spots, I think what happens once the once I put Stormhost Silver on, I'll dry brush it on first in spots that I want, and then I'll put the Shyish Purple on, and then as it dries, I'm gonna kind of thin it out a little bit with a brush and uh, see what happens. So it's gonna be either an utter disaster or it's gonna actually work out pretty good. Now, I'm hoping to be doing more of these painting videos. Uh, in my limited space here that I have to actually work and paint, you'd be surprised at how small this area actually is in relation to the entire rest of the store. Uh, this is what I got to work with right now. Eventually I'll get a little bit better of a setup, I hope. Uh, but I'm going to give it a shot. And what I'm, I also plan to do is because I don't need all these minis for myself, I actually intend to sell them in the store. So once I get done painting a lot of these minis, then I'm gonna actually put them for sale in the store for a little bit of a markup. And uh, then we'll just kind of see how it goes from there. So if you if you live in the local area and you wanna wanna, and you wanna wanna, and you, well, you want the mini that I paint, well, just come on down to the shop and buy it. Uh, now I don't do commissions or anything like that, but um, you know, if it's there, if it's available, man, you're welcome to get it. And plus, I think it's kind of cool that, uh, you know, if I paint it and someone's like, oh, that's really cool. I want to have something that he painted. Then that's a good way to get it. Uh, my storm host, looks like my storm host silver is a little wonky, but I don't think it's going to be too bad. Um, now let me try and shake it up just a little bit more here. It has been sitting for just an age or two. Thinking about getting my saws all out or a paint shaker for these things. But uh, that doesn't seem too bad. We'll give it a shot. I'm not too terribly worried. This is just kind of an experiment anyways. And when you're painting, well, there's a lot of experimentation when it comes to painting, or at least for me anyways. So basically, I'm going to find some of these high spots and put this Stormhost Silver on there and just kind of let it dry. Looks like I'm actually going to get quite a bit of spots. But because it's shiny and reflective, I'm hoping that's going to shine through that contrast paint. Now, let's see. Now, oh, I should mention though, I did paint something not too long ago. The video should have already been out before this one, but I painted a Trojan rabbit from Monty Hall uh, or Monty Python's Search for the Holy Grail. Uh, that one is not for sale. I'm going to be using that in probably a game. Plus, I just want to keep it because a friend 3D printed it for me. But this one will definitely be hitting the shelf. Oh, yeah, I can definitely tell that this Stormhost Silver is not the best. But that'll be okay. It still seems like it's got some uh, reflectiveness to it. Just a bit, anyways. All right. Actually, I might... Uh, See, it doesn't seem too bad. You can kind of see it there. It's not too shabby. I think I'm actually got more on there than I probably need. Let me see if I can kind of thin some of this paint down here. Yeah. Kind of spread it out. Didn't, I guess I really wasn't dry brushing as much as I thought. But now we'll just go ahead and kind of spread it out just a little bit more here. 
That should be pretty good. Yeah, I think that's going to work out all right. Maybe in better light, too. This will shine a little bit better. That doesn't seem too bad. Let's see if I can get just a little bit more here going on. And I am definitely not what you would call a skilled painter. You think I would be after all these years and all the D&D that I've played. But, you know, I don't know. I just kind of do my own thing, really. And as long as I have fun and enjoy myself, really, that's the only thing that really matters. I mean, you could easily say, well, Dave, you're totally not doing that right. Well, I'm not doing it how you would do it, but I'm definitely doing it how just I feel like doing it and my time permits you know and that's a lot of times that's what it's about when you paint is finding the time and the energy to do it and when you do it i mean just how much work do you want to put forth how much time do you have and i'm not saying don't put effort into something oh by all means you need to i mean that's one of the reasons i own my own store but sometimes you know if you don't have a lot of time or inclination especially me i'm trying to get back into painting a little more often so it's just i'm really kind of kind of forcing myself to make time because if i say i'll do it at some point i'll never get around to it so i legitimately have to tell myself all right i'm gonna sit down i'm actually gonna do painting like today at two o'clock or whatever time it is so and that seems that's right lately how it's been for me Okay, so we're opening this. We got my silver on there. I think it's going to be reasonably dry. I'm not too worried about it. It's not terribly dry. And plus, I painted on pretty thin. It'll be all right. Now, let's try this purple and see what happens. Here we go. This is the shyish purple I'm doing. Ooh, it's real dark. Real dark. But I think I'm going to like how this comes out because I really like that color. Even, you know, I really think even without the um storm host silver on there oops bumped my cam there but I've, but even without the silver i think this shyish purple is really nice because it just adds a little extra dimension a little extra color to it and you can see of course it can be real dark that purple can be real dark which is what i want i still want to look like a black pudding but i think with where the contrast is i'll get that darkness in spots and then I'll get that some of the real light areas and it'll give it a little more color a little more definition instead of just a black looking tar monster Whoops, there we go. I think I'm definitely kind of liking this, how it's coming out. It's definitely getting to be just a little bit more purple than I anticipated, but I don't think it's too bad, really. Let's see here. Let's get on the inside a little bit more here. Let's see if we can make it a little darker here. But you know, I'm not too worried about how dark this is. I think, um, or I'm sorry, with how purple it is, but I think it'll definitely darken up a little bit. Oh. oh, am I blocking most of this? I'm probably blocking most of this with my hand. Let's see here. There we go. It should be too bad. I don't know. I don't know. That's looking pretty good, actually. I kind of like that. I really should be using a paint handle, but I don't know. I just really hadn't, uh, again, I'm just getting into it again, and some basic things I'm really kind of forgetting here at this point. But that's okay. You don't always need a paint handle to paint everything. 
And one another thing I like about these Nolzers minis is they're pre-primed, so you can just sit down and paint. Heck, if someone else was driving, you could probably, if you're careful, you could paint on the way to your game, but only if someone else is driving. So that's actually not looking too bad. Um, I'm going to throw a little extra purple on here and see how it comes out a little because I want to make it just a little more darker but I don't think not too much All right and I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to leave this for a few minutes and let it dry and come back to it and let's take a look and see exactly how it looks when it's dry now it could take a few minutes for it to dry actually probably it's gonna probably take like 10 or 15 minutes but already just looking at it I can see hints of that silver underneath which I really like and again since it's not black it's purple and that contrast comes off the ridges and goes into the crevices of the miniature it, it gives it more definition more sense of motion more sense that it's something other than just utter blackness now i gotta admit i got a black pudding at home that i cracked from a blind box it's pre-painted pre-painted miniature and that thing looks wicked cool but i don't know painting one i think i like going with the really 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 dark purple and uh, we're gonna let this dry and when i come back I'll tell you how I think, or I'll tell you exactly what I would do if I decide I wanted this a little bit darker without painting it black. And maybe on a spot or two, we'll try it and see if I'm right. Okay, so we're gonna take a quick break and come back and uh, see how it dries. Okay, now we're back. I've tried to wash my hands a little bit. And this is sufficiently dry. And now, just looking at it, I think I am pleasantly happy with how this came out. You can definitely tell there's a little bit of metallic underneath there. Let me change the focus on this video here. Yep, there we go. You can definitely tell there's a little bit of a that storm host silver under there that came out pretty good. And I do like the fact that I undercoated it with that storm host silver. I think I could have done a little bit better by getting me a fresh paint pot of that storm host silver. So you always want to use the best paint you have at that time. I think the, this particular pot, it's a little older and I probably didn't mix it as well and I should have just grabbed a fresh one off the shelf, but I wanted to use what I had. But um, you can definitely tell there's a little bit of extra shine on it and I'm really happy with how it came out. So uh, it's cool, I don't mind it at all. I like the extra color. It's almost because, you know, it's stretching, it's pulling. So it's almost like the lighter spots are where it's straining and it's glistening. So uh, I really like it. Now, what I was going to do, I had thought about actually taking and getting some shades like some Beale Tan Green or some old classic Nolan Oil. And I actually thought about maybe painting it over this model. But I don't think I want to do that because... You know, it would make it darker, but it would take away some of that uh, silver sheen to it. And I gotta tell you, I think I really like it. Well, now all I gotta do is glue it to the base and I'm done. And then I'm going to uh, put it out for sale for just a little bit more. And that way, if you're interested in picking up any of these miniatures that I've painted, uh, come on down to Game Masters Guild and it'll be available for sale if someone else hasn't snagged it. And if you're not local, well, you can always call the shop and say, hey, I saw this YouTube video where uh, Dave painted a black pudding and I want to buy that particular one. And, well, we'd be happy to send you an invoice for it or you can pay over the phone and after we get some shipping on there, then we can mail it out to you. Just in case you want something that you see that I've painted and also too I don't do any kind of commissions or anything I just don't I'm just too busy to be able to actually take on a commission and at this point I really just kind of want to paint just for the sheer joy of painting and just kind of whenever I feel like it all right so that's all I really thank you all very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video 
And as always, stay safe, play great games, and I'll see you real soon.